In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the tables that we're using for this course, as well as how to insert data into the tables. First of all, you should start by downloading the files that you need for this lesson, which are available to the right of the screen, the Create Tables and the Insert into Table scripts. What I've done is I've downloaded them into a separate folder on my computer. We have four files here, which are available in this lecture and the previous lecture. They're uploaded into a text file, so .txt. For them to work, we'll need to rename those to be an, a .sql file. You may be able to open them directly in Oracle SQL Developer, but just to identify them as being an SQL file, we should rename them. The reason they're not renamed is because Udemy doesn't let me upload them as .sql, so I've renamed them as .txt. So I've renamed those files as .sql. Now in Oracle SQL Developer, I need to open these files. So to open a file, I need to go up to the top left and click on the Open button. And now I need to browse to the location where I've saved these files. In this case, it's a folder on the desktop. So the file I need to open is Create Tables SQL. After that, I'll need to open the Insert into Tables, but we'll just do the first file now. OK, so now I've opened this SQL file and we can see that it has a few lines of code in it. We'll get into what each of these statements do in a later lecture, but overall they create the tables that we need to use for this lecture. We can see that they have labels at the top that indicate what it actually does, in this case create student table, and some lines are also indented to make it easier to read. So what we need to do to run this is click on the Run Script button up the top here, or press F5. This will run four statements, and then down the bottom here we have an output section that says the tables have been created. It also tells you how long it's taken to complete. So now we have the tables created, we want to put data inside the tables. To do this, we need to open another SQL script. So we go up to the top, open another file, and select the Insert into Tables SQL file. This script here has a lot more commands. We'll go over these individual statements in a later lecture, but basically what it does is the first few statements delete any data that's in the existing tables and the rest of the statements insert some data into the tables which we'll use in the examples in each of the lectures. So just like the previous script, we can run this script by going up to run script here and press F5. What might happen is when you open up a file it'll ask you which connection you want it to use. This happens because we have two set up. Local, which is the administrator account, and Local Tutor, which is the one we've created just for this lesson. In this instance, we want to select Local Tutor and click OK. We can see in the output section, we've inserted a whole bunch of rows here. You shouldn't have any issues in running this script. If you do, then please add a question into the Udemy question form here. OK, so now we've created our tables and inserted data. It's now time to move on to the next section.